Hi, my name is Colby Larson, the owner of Park City Fine Art here in Park City, Utah. I am the owner of five different art galleries right here on Main Street. We're going to walk through them today. And right now I'm standing in Park City Fine Art. This is a, a staff favorite. All, my, all the employees will work different locations and they'll kind of rotate throughout. So you'll know some of the, the staff if you've been here. And, but this is the favorite. If you were to say, well, what is that gallery like? I kind of like to, to it, say that it's a contemporary, traditional, Western art gallery, which isn't like really even a thing. I'm making that up because it's, you've got a phenomenal mix between contemporary work, contemporary Western, yet we also carry some of today's most popular traditional artists. So it's really, really a fun gallery to pop into, depending on what your style is and what you like, or if you're just come, coming out and looking at different ideas, it's a really fun gallery to walk through. We love when people come visit the gallery, we get talking and chatting and, and art tells a story. And every single painting, has something about it that will take you on a journey. It'll either tell a story about where we're at here, and as we go through each one, you'll see that each gallery has a very different flavor. And so, totally different, a different energy is, is the way I like to also say it. So join me as we walk and go throughout the galleries. It'll be really fun, and we'll talk about some of the highlights and a few of the artists that we carry. Here we have a, one of the, my personal favorites is Cole Tidal. And what I love about his work is that he, he paints like an old master, but he's only like 31 years old right now. And he was named one of the top 30 artists under 30 years old. I love the teepees and he and his little boy, he sets up these teepees in his backyard. If you start talking teepee history and detail and and all the ins and outs, he is a walking thesaurus. It's really fun to hear him talk about the teepees. Here we have another favorite artist here in the gallery, and this is Devon. Devon is a pop artist that he shows also in two other of our galleries. In this gallery here, we carry his Western pop art, and he'll pick all of the greats, all the greats that, that would have been here and had that fun Western pop and flair to him. These were really, really great in theater rooms, game rooms, pool rooms, like little bar area. They're really, really great. And these are great too because Western art is you know, following trends, you want to, if you're going to go Western, you're going to go traditional Western, you're going to go contemporary Western. So his work flows so well into a contemporary Western home. Another one of our contemporary Western artists is Nelson Boren. Nelson Boren is one of my favorite, favorite artists here in the gallery. When we first opened, he was the first artist that I said, you know what, we've got to get Nelson Boren into, into the gallery. And so in him being here in the gallery, there's something that he says that I just love. And he said, when you look at my work and you look at these old boots, and you look at this, this old leather, can you imagine the stories that it could tell? And he's all about the story. And so this one's a neat one because you kind of say, okay, what is the story here? What's going on? And it's a fun one. And so for me, they're right about to kiss. You know, she's getting the flower, maybe like he proposed, I don't know what it is. So we, we can all put together our own little story and it's one thing that I love about Nelson. And what's also incredible is that they're watercolor and it's impressive. Okay, this artist is Tesha. Tesha is one of our top most popular artists here in Park City and she's been with the gallery since the very beginning and every year we do a large show where she'll come in and she'll work on a body of artwork for eight months and then show up with this incredible larger than life type, type art. This piece here is 35,000 and it's always a top question that people wanna know, like why is that worth $35,000? And it, to say it's all in the, the eye of the beholder is like, it's a real thing. And so when we get people coming in or if you're on the street and you're like, hey, what is, What's the value of art? And a lot of it is, is how you see art. And then obviously the education and, and the background and story is, is part of it. But another huge part of it is the artist. And in being an art dealer and carrying a different artist, I'm also sometimes I feel like sometimes sort of a, a mentor, you know, helping them with price point and whatnot. The artists that are the most successful are the artists that are the most confident in who they are. And that is a huge trick to the value of art. And so the, the value of art really is the perception, but it's also, it's important to know too that, hey, you know, this is Tesha, it's a supply and demand game. You know, this large piece right here, we're only gonna get four of them this year. And so that helps push price as well. I mean, there's a lot of the different variables that, 
that we could go into that, that defines what is the value of ARP. This is just one more on the, the surface level that, that I see up front and whatnot. I hope you enjoyed that quick tour of Park City Fine Art. You can always keep up with what the latest is happening on our Instagram page at Park City Fine Art. And that Instagram page we use for all of the galleries. And so to keep up with that, you can go there.